1998 Jeep Cherokee. What happens to this vehicle, uh, the power door locks after a few years, they go bad. This will happen on Honda Civics, Accord, Super Dually, F-350s, uh, F-150, the Ford line. Not so much the Chevy, but I've seen it happen to Chevy. Uh, you know, anybody who has a vehicle that uh, the power door lock goes bad, in this situation, the power locks is built in in a latch, and it can be very expensive at the dealer. So uh, we, what we do is uh, we put an aftermarket actuator. Actually, this is what we do on, on cars that don't come with power door locks. We go ahead and add the actuators in and convert them to power locks. Uh, so what we end up doing is uh, changing all four motors because all four went bad. Normally one door will go bad and then the other door starts making like a noise and then after a while they, they start going bad or they'll start being weak. Uh, what happens is when you lock and unlock they will work for a little while and then if you do it too many times a little bit they will heat up and then it won't work anymore that's when you know the life of the motor is going bad anyway I'm going to show you guys what we end up doing let's see we end up plugging it in on the factory harness cutting it off from the factory uh, uh, door lock which is a very little one not compared to this monster here it's very little and it's built in in the latch and of course it only lasts about five or six years uh, being it that this model is more than 20 years old, I think this guy got his money's worth. I'm gonna go ahead and lock. Okay, locks the doors. Unlocks the doors. I want to see it that way you guys can see the motor work. Okay, this is what we do for cars that have power, uh, factory power door locks, or if you have a vehicle that doesn't have any power locks and you want to convert it to power locks. This was installed here in Miami, Florida by Auto Alarm Specialists. Thank you for watching this video.